Hello, I'm Sunny Williams. I'm up here on the International Space Station. So right now, we're in the Japanese laboratory. It's one laboratory out of many here on the International Space Station. It's actually on the left-hand side. If I was the International Space Station and I was flying through space like this, my left hand would be where the Japanese laboratory is. So now again, we're on the right-hand side, all the way on the right of the International Space Station. This is Columbus, the European module. It has science experiments all over. You could see it looks a little bit crowded. And here we do a lot of our medical experiments. Here's one sleep station right here. I'm going in right now. You can follow me if you want. So I'm inside. It's sort of like a little phone booth. Um, but it's pretty comfy. I've got a sleeping bag right here that we sleep in so we don't have a, sort of like a little bit of a cover. We don't fly all over the place. Um, but you know, you can sleep in any orientation. I have it sleeping, feeling like I'm standing up right now, but like you saw, I'm on the floor. But it doesn't matter if I turn over and I sleep upside down. I can't have it, I don't have any sensation in my head that tells me that I'm upside down. So it really doesn't matter. So all of us sleep in a little bit of a, a circle. All right, come on back. There's more to show you. Hey, Aki, what are you doing down there? Smashing things. <laughs> This is one of the cool things about space, too. It sort of looks like there's a big old hole here, but you don't even think twice about it. You could just jump over the hole, or if you want, you can go jump into the hole. I'm coming down. Woo! <laughs> then you can come right back up again, like Superman. We're lucky we have a really cool big space station that you can fly around in. That's actually called the PMM. You might have saw it out the window. It's a big silver canister. What's really great about that is it's essentially our closet in our pantry or whatever you want to call it. We have extra food down there. We have extra clothes. We actually throw the trash out down there. So it's nice and organized and we have all of our stuff that we need while we're working in all these other modules all stowed in this location down here. And it's a lot of fun to play in. Doing a little tour. This is the FGB, and what's cool about this module, it is actually the very first piece of the space station that came up in 1998. The space station has been around for about now um, man for 12 years, but it's been up in space for about 14 years. And this was the very first. It is like the Russians' PMM. It has a lot of storage, as you can see. Here we are at the throne. And of course, it serves for two functions. Number two, right here. I'll show you. But you see it's pretty small, so you have to have pretty good aim. And you'll be, be, be ready to make sure things get let go the right direction. And it smells a little bit, so I'm closing it up. And that's, of course, for number two. And this guy right here is for number one. And did I mention, both of these have a little bit of suction, so they should keep things going in the right direction. But, um, like I said, sometimes things get a little out of control if you are out of control yourself flying around. So we have lots of protective stuff. And of course, you do have your privacy. There's a little door. So other people know that you're in there. Now I'm gonna take you to one of the coolest places on the space station. This is the cupola. It stick, sticks down below the uh, space station. Uh, it's one of those places you find yourself hanging out in all the time because all you want to do is look back at our planet. And a lot of folks, I, I play this game with myself about where we're flying over the Earth. I try to come in here and just guess. There we go. 
Oh, right now we are right over Africa. It's a little bit cloudy, as you can tell, but we're right over the continent of Africa. Hey, what's that? I think that's a Soyuz spacecraft. That's the spacecraft that's taken us home to planet Earth today.